So if you're ever making wine and you, you go down in your basement, you give it a smell and you're all excited and it smells like rotten eggs, um, it's probably not so exciting anymore and you're probably thinking, man, what did I do? Well, the culprit of that is something called hydrogen sulfide and it's most likely something you're going to experience if you've made any number of wines. Um, and hydrogen sulfide, like I said, it gives, that, gives off that really signature um, rotten egg smell. And it's something that the, really the best thing you can do is just try to prevent it. Um, but if you catch it early enough, it's something you can take care of also. Um, the, the real root cause is, is usually just from a, a stressed out, your yeast is just getting stressed out, whether it's a lack of nutrient or um, too cold of fermentation or too, too say high of acid but something that is just causing that yeast to be stressed and most likely it's usually lack of nutrient. Um, or the other thing is if, if your wine's already done fermenting and it's sitting on the gross lees, um, so the sediment on the bottom, uh, it, it could, that, as that sort of starts to break down, it can put off some hydrogen sulfide or the swamp gas, rotten egg smell. Um, so the best thing to do, like I said, is to try to prevent it and just keep your, your little yeasts nice and happily nourished. And what I like to use for that is um, just some general yeast nutrient. Um, the, normally this stuff is based on um, like urea or diammonium phosphate. Um, this stuff is called Fermax. It comes with some like little yeast hulls in it to help give the cells things to latch on to, which apparently is helpful. Um, but you want to add some of this stuff and be careful when you add this stuff because it could very easily turn your nice fermentation into a, a volcano. And if you add this, um, usually it says add um, one to one and a half tablespoons per gallon. Um, is it tablespoons or teas? Yeah, one, and a, one to one and a half teaspoons per gallon. Um, I usually like to add it in stages though, so instead of adding that all at one time, um, you might add a, a little bit one day um, and a little bit another day, and as the fermentation goes on you can gradually taper that down because you don't really want a lot of nutrient after the fermentation is over because that can just lead to more um, spoilage issues. So if you've added your nutrient and you, you come back the next day and your, your must still smells like the unfortunate rotten egg smell, um, the next course of action is usually to do a splash rack. Um, so what you're gonna do, and I'll do it on this, um, this banana wine here because it's got a little bit of that hydrogen sulfide smell, is I like to just um, put it, like add a little bit of sulfite to it, say like 25 parts per million and rack it into a like a bucket with a lot of air and if you have two buckets you can kind of dump it back and forth and uh, that should take care of the problem in this case I'm just gonna dump it back and forth between a couple growlers with a funnel but if it doesn't take care of the problem which occasionally it doesn't um, you can resort to the big guns and that's um, copper sulfate and copper sulfate is nothing to take lightly because it's actually poisonous and poisonous in a reasonably even small dose. So um, it is legal to use in wine up to 0.5 parts per million. And uh, at that amount, it's nothing to worry about. And, and if you have hydrogen sulfide, it'll actually bind to the hydrogen sulfide and fall out of the, um, of the juice as copper. So um, with this stuff what you want to do is get get a 1% solution of it because it's a little bit easier to work with and measure and um, you'll want to do some bench trials. So first just take a little pour a little glass of wine and put one milliliter of this into that glass of wine and swirl it up for a couple minutes and give it a smell. And if it's if it doesn't smell like the rotten eggs anymore and it actually smells normal, um, you can be sure that, that the copper sulfate will be worthwhile to try adding. And uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is pour some 50 milliliter samples and um, you can even dilute this down even further, say to like a, 
a 0.1% solution to make life a little bit easier. And take your 50 milliliter samples and add um, uh, varying levels up to 0.5 parts per million. So you might want to do 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0 0.5. Um, cork them and let them sit for a couple days and come back and uh, see what's the minimum amount that you need to add to your wine to to wipe out that that odor and then of course um, when you've decided that you can go ahead and add your cop copper sulfate and make sure that you um, don't just go bottling it right after you do this you're gonna want to have racked it a few times to make sure you've racked it off of any of that residuals that might have got left behind but with this stuff and it's very very effective it's definitely the most effective way to get rid of hydrogen sulfide but with this stuff um, 0.75 milliliters of 1% solution added to one gallon of wine um, will bring you up to that 0.5% legal limit or 0.5 parts per million legal amount of um, of copper sulfate. So for a six gallons of wine, you really still only need a few milliliters of this stuff. So you don't want to just go buying like the bulk 100% crystals and chucking a bunch in your wine or you're going to end up with some poison. So don't do that. Um, but those are really the most um, by far common and um, effective ways to get rid of your um, hydrogen sulfide um, one last thing is if you if you don't take care of the problem and and it's very very important to take care of it so if you don't take care of it it'll turn into it'll evolve into um, something called mercaptans and that's this like burnt rubber taste that your wine will get and once it gets to that level it's even harder to take care of um, there's some methods that maybe we can talk about in another episode but it's really challenging and if you don't take care of it when it's in the mercaptan stage, it'll evolve even further um, in the presence of oxygen and it'll turn into hydrogen disulfide. And at that point, you're gonna be, it's gonna be a miracle if you can save that wine. Most likely that wine's gonna be destined for the drain. So easy to take care of if you catch it in the rotten egg smell stage, progressively more difficult to take care of as it goes along. And um, so don't, don't sit on this issue for too long. Make sure you take care of it quickly. Um, but that's all there is to hydrogen sulfide. I know this is a little bit long-winded, but it's a, it's a subject that I'm pretty passionate about because it can really wreck your wine if you don't take care of it.